sit. Firecracker, sit. Good boy. Sit. Good boys. Of an L on her forehead. Not time yet, pumpkin. <laughs> Not time yet. Welcome back, Mango 3. I'm here. We're going to continue with Final Fantasy XIV. We were on an adventure. I think we were going to uh, Little Allah Migo, um, basically moving up to a new adventure area. We have just reached White Mage status, we're up from Conjurer. Um, so we'll continue in that direction. Sounded like game's already started. There we go. Alright, so we're here, we need to go south, cross into this new territory, um, and probably unlock that. Let's do that. Hop on our... Nice having this chocobo. Cross here, but we'll try. We need to go there. Or no, down to here. Let's head towards the check mark on the map. Hope there's no canyons between here and there. Bumped into Faha Joni. If it's the halls of Halatali you seek, you need seek no further. Permit me to tell you something of the place. The name comes from an ancient tongue, Halatali, meaning the land of many shadows. It was here that our distant ancestors first settled, and bah, you have not come all this way for a lesson in history. Shh. Listen, do you hear, not hear the howls and growls? Do you not feel how they shake in the very earth beneath you? I think we're going the wrong way, that's okay. Yeah, we're doing this third one by accident, that's okay. Those sounds are the work of no wind, my friend. Not that rumbling the doing of the shadow, any shadows. Those are the calls of Halatali, for now the beasts once kept in the Colosseum are here. These are no gentle beasts broken by the hand of man. Well, there are those within that might, that even the might of the immortal flames cannot take. From the look of you, you must be Mangler. I, I've received word from Rednick, Nedrick, that you may, might be along. By his recommendation, I grant you leave to enter freedom. I only pray you are able to find your way out. We're getting big rewards, but this is like not good enough. Okay, so now we're allowed to enter here. 
We just opened it up. But it's just a regular one, so we'd have to wait for anybody else anyway. So I'm gonna, well, if we mark on the duty and then we continue on the other one, then we'll at least have something to go to. Wow. Oh. We're almost filled up. We just need one DPS person and then we can start. This will be my first dungeon with other people. If we can get one more person. Oh. We're picking three? Light party? Or maybe somebody joined it for the last second. I don't know. Be all up to me to heal. May or may not work out, we'll see. Look like four people in the picture. Yep, I see four. Party members. Bonus for first completion. So all these people are doing their first time. How come I can't click on the end of that? I'm a lower level. Oh, I get it. Now I get it. Can't use two point spots. New medica though.
Got a new trait. The new trait is nowhere to be found. Is it this one? Where is it? Loot rolls. Oh, we have to go get the loot. Okay. That was the boss. Oh, I didn't even see that. Doctor's hands. I can't wear it, so I will go with green. Now, where are they? Where did everyone go? Okay. Maybe this way? No. Could be on the other side of the door. We have to go up one floor. Oh, we're up there.
cancel your under attack. Gosh darn it. How do I get these guys to leave me alone? Click on the blue fire. I don't know how to do that. I can't talk to you either. Gosh. Get out of this talk mode. Change the party mode. Party talk.
lot to play with in this game. Whoa, never mind. We have a limit break right here. He must know where he's going. Thunder clap. Hey boss. Treasure Conquers. We got the bow. We need tights here. Three. Guessing we have to go here.
mapping the realm. Monster. Big monster, who we got? He's gonna try to eat us. He's got boards out of his head like me. Go for it, Nathan. I'm gonna bring on friends for sure. What did we do? Got level up. Did we just crush him? Oh, he must use his ultimate limit break. Commend a player. Positive impression. something. Alright, well, that was cool. We got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Let's see if we can use any of it. Oh yeah, two new things. A new robe and new earrings. Oh boy. Two new items by accidentally going to the wrong place. Didn't take long at all. Okay, so we still need to go east and south. Commendation, I don't know what that means, but we're gonna look at it. First time here in Southern Thanalan. Ooh, these guys are a little bit stronger. Are they gonna attack me? Nope. Alright, we need to go south. I'm gonna go straight towards it, see if I can. There's also a dungeon over here. Right there, I see it. The hole in the wall. Hole in the mountain. 
Oh brother, where art thou? In the ambush, run. In and around. Do -do 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 -do. Yay, we got a new etherite. Oh, now we can teleport to here. So take a chuckle of it. I can talk to this guy. Name Commander. Hmm, why yes. Hihibaru, my my father. He said what? Uh, I wish I could be a better daughter to him. It's just that oh I'm sorry, I shouldn't bother you with family matters, but I'm grateful to you for delivering the message. Now then, what brings you here? A masked man? I'm afraid the description doesn't ring any bells, but one of the others here may have said, seen something. I would recommend you first speak to Gundabal, the leader of the settlement. I must warn you though, he isn't exactly accommodating to other outsiders. Who are you? State your business and be quick about it. <clears throat> Looking for a masked villain, you say? Then why should we help you, pray? We struggle enough without having to answer to the whim of every outsider. You're not welcome here. Be gone. Give me orange dye. Give me all these dye. Alright, so I go somewhere else in here. The flame commander we just walked past. I would like to aid your manhunt by giving you things that don't help you or aid you. Well met, adventure. I'm Gizzlebert. Head of security here at Little Ella Migo. I heard that you had business with Gundabald. Knowing the bristly old bear, I don't doubt he told you to bugger off. Owing to the heart to our hardships, the refugees don't trust anyone but themselves. Not even my men and I can get so much as a word of thanks out of them, despite watching the place night and day. But thanks or no, I try to help my fellow man when I can, and you seem a decent sort. If you tell me what's brought you here, it might be as I can lend a hand. On the trail of a masked villain, villain you say? Hmm, can't say that sounds familiar, but I have men on lookout for Amalja to the south of here. If there's been any suspicious activity, they are like to have seen it. I had a mind to take them each a cup of sweet Ganelan tea, so as to lift their spirits. If you were to run this little errand in my stead, they'd be all the more willing to tell you what they know. Run an errand, eh? Go south, eh? I'm not sure how to get out of here, so I'm going to go out the way I came in. Bring the chocolate off, of course. That's not the way out. Sorry, chocolate. Didn't mean to hurt you. Dropping off tea to different people. What a gopher quest.
Who the hell are you? Well, I'm trying to conserve energy here, so leave me alone. Well, ain't she a considerate? My thanks, friend. What's that, a masked villain? Hiding among the refugees? Like as not. Nikom, patriots as live here go about as though they're dead on their feet. Tis near impossible to tell what's on their minds. For all I know, they're all up to no good. Talk to that guy, a whole bunch of guys that attack me. Angry River, flame prick. You there, are you in Amalja? No? Then carry on. Ah, this sophisticated aroma. It has been forever since I had a drop of sweet thong on. I'm gonna enjoy this. What? A masked man? Don't know, don't care. Unless he's got dark, scaly skin stands ten fulms tall and has the face of a lizard, then I don't give a mummer's fart. Shoo shoo, don't bother me. I'm the Amalja overrun us. If the Amalja overrun us, I'm blaming you. For me, you shouldn't have. Sorry? A suspicious masked man. As a matter of fact, I caught a glimpse of someone fitting that description during patrol. Well, I couldn't quite make out whether it was a man or not, what with the mask and the robe, but assuming it was a he, he was talking with some Amal Alamegans. I assumed he was one of them. Alright, so we gotta report back to this guy. And it's probably the same, yep. We could take a shortcut. Not we could, we should. So did my lookouts have aught to share with you? Hmm, that doesn't sound like much to go by. If you're to get further in your investigation, it seems to me you'll need the cooperation of the Alamog Megans. For this, you'll need to win their trust, and it won't be an easy task. Right. That's better, but it's a different, uh, different uh, job. I'm not going to go for other jobs. Just for the money. Alright, foot in the door. Gisselbert would offer you some advice regarding your investigation. So you're determined to press on with your investigation, and I have some advice to offer. As I said before, you won't get far without the Alamegan's trust, and the best way to win that trust is to get a compatriot of theirs, someone they respect, to vouch for you. Coin does this talking in Olda, but the Alamegans are bound by something far stronger, if not as tangible, a common purpose. The purpose is, of course, the liberation of their home from the Garleans. Gundabald belongs to the Alamegan resistance, so the best bet would be someone who's part of the same crew. If you know any well-connected people, you might want to start by asking them. Speak with Minfilia. She's way back over here, so we need to hey, er, use my ticket. Okay.
Ophelia. We are back. I haven't seen you in a day or two. Two days, I think. How fares the investigation? I see. Given all that they have suffered, it is of little wonder the Alamegan refugees have lost faith in their fellow man. They have had their homeland taken from them, and for the past two decades have had to see it remain in the enemy's clutches. To compound matters, none of the three city-states have the means to take in all those who are displaced. As a result, a great many Alamegans now live on the margins of society, suffering poverty and discrimination. Would that more could be done to ease their hardships, I fear that nothing short of reclaiming their homeland would be a lasting solution. But let us deal with it with one problem at a time. Returning to the matter of your investigation, it just so happens there is an Alamegan native among the Scions. I should be pleased to introduce him to you. Mm. Level 24 weapon. Your Alamegan comrade is named Herbert. He joined our cause in the hopes that he might find a way to liberate his homeland. While he spares no effort toward the endeavor, I have no doubt that he would be glad to assist you. If I recall correctly, Herobert is currently between missions. Try looking for him in the storage area. I just remembered something was close to 100% spirit bound. Yep, there we go. Alright, extract materia. This is what they taught me to do. And I'll get materia out of it. Quick Tongue Materia 2. Okay. Any other 100%ers? Absolutely not. I'm sure, there's a way to like alert you when they were. Alright, storage area. Is that near here? I don't know. Let's walk a few feet and find out. Is. Look at all this stuff. It isn't Mangler, the Scion's rising star. Is there aught I can do for you? We wish to win the trust of the people of the little Alamigo. That's a daunting task, my friend, even for our own countrymen. I would like nothing more than to help, but I'm afraid my name no longer carries weight with that lot. I used to be a member of the Alamigan resistance, you see but I left in favor of joining the Scions. Though my allegiance may have shifted, my purpose remains ever the same, the liberation of Alamigo. Yet whatever my reasons were, the, I abandoned my comrades, and they'll have nothing to do with me. Now, while I have, may have no friends, no more friends in the Resistance, I know someone who does. Her name is Albreda. She's a resident of Quarry Mill. Say my name when you meet her, and she won't lead you to screw. Alright, Cory Mill, we can find that. It's right there. Does an item and a weapon get any better with more spirit bond, or is it always the same power? Like, does it increase in ability, like a 100% ring, is it better than a 0% ring? Probably not. Unless you have a right? There's Albreda. 
Resistance. Eh? You want me to introduce you to the Resistance? Ha! Huh. Why the hell should I do that? Give me one good reason. Just one reason. Parabaret sent you. Grr, the worthless horse and He abandons his comrades, his woman, and now he has the gall to ask me for a favor? Simply incredible. I just, I mean... Uh, okay, I realize Herbert was only doing what he felt was right. He's a good man. And if he trusts you, then all I need, that's all I need to know. You see that bloke here? That's Mefrid, a captain of the resistance. I hope he can give you what you need. Alright, we got a weapon coffer. Let's see what we get out of that. The crook and viper crested, whatever. I doubt it's going to be useful. But we can check that. Nope. They were too gray, I don't know. Alright, Mefred. You on the coast. Mefred needs help tending a wounded brother. Hi, I'm Mefred, the proud man of the Alamegan resistance. What business do you have with me, adventurer? Good captain, it's Galian. Sir, his wound's gone and festered and he's burning up. I don't think he's got much time. Gosh darn. I asked the villagers for aid, got on my knees and begged, and they refused to lift a finger. If Galleon dies, his blood is on our hands. These quarry mill cavern cravens would both turn a blind eye to our plight. But they might listen to Albreda. I fear my anger will prevent me from rightly convincing anyone at the moment. I realize we scarce know each other, but this is a matter of life and death. Please, adventure, go to her and try. Mefred's in bad shape, you say? I am sorry, but there's not I can do. I want to help, truly I do. They're my countrymen after all. But they mean going that would mean going against the elementals will. I've been at Quarry Mill long enough to know right terrible beings can be. How right terrible. How right awful. I couldn't forgive myself if everyone gets banished because of me. If there's anyone who can help you, it'd be Charlene, the Hamlet's resident hero. If you take the matter to her, it might be as she'll listen, though I wouldn't get my hopes up. You wish to aid the Alamegans? You are possessed of a kind heart, adventurer, but I'm afraid I have not the authority to grant your wish. This authority belongs only to the Elementals, the eternal guardians of the Twelvesmen. All outsiders, be they babes at the breast or men grown, are judged at, of a night whether they may have a place beneath the bows. Bows. Alas, the Alamegan's petition has been denied. Harsh though it may seem, they do not have leave to receive of the woods. Down here. Ever has it been since time immemorial, and ever shall it be. That's how it's to be, then. The bloody hearer might as well kill Gillian herself. Spit on the elementals and spit on their bloody will. I cannot wait until the resistance is free of this place. I led my men to Quarry Mill, hoping to find refuge. Instead, we found indifference. The cold-blooded bastards have went 
hat here point us out and I can't oblige them soon enough. Problem is, some of mine, some of mine aren't fit to travel. Bell's galleon can't even stand. As you well know, the people of this accursed hamlet won't help us, so I have no choice but to turn to you, adventurer. In my homeland, long antelope horn is a traditional remedy with poison purge properties. If you could bring me, say, four horns, I'd forever be here. Right outside. I'm over 40, so I could do the next wait in the forest, but I don't think we're stick to here while we're Maybe before we move out of this place, we'll go to the shop. Oh, you're back. Tell me you got the four horns with you. Yeah. You're a godsend adventure. Praise Ralgar, there's at least one man in this place who gives a darn. Now we just need to find a way to prepare them. You wouldn't happen to know a man named Buscaron, would you? Some comrades of mine told me about him once. They said he never turns away folk and me, no matter where they're from. Seeing as he runs a tavern, he's like to have the tools to make the medicine. I'd be grateful if you could take the horns over to him and have him grind it down. When that's done, bring the powder back. I'll give it to Farman here. Godspeed. I do know that guy. He's way back over here. sight for sore eyes. How fair is he adventuring? Rolling in the coin like there's no tomorrow, no doubt. Hmm? You got something to show me? Well, uh, look at, like, look like good old antelope horns. Need them ground down to make medicine, you say? Here's a better idea. I'll give you some of the stuff I have in my stores. I, I'm no stranger to the remedy. 
An Alamegan friend once used it to treat my festering wound years and years ago. Safe to say he saved my life. What's that? This is for an Alamegan soldier in pouring milk? Heh, <laughs> so it comes full circle. Well, I'll... I hope it helps the poor sod as he as needs it. Oh, and don't worry, your little head off about repayment. I still owe you a deal more than you owe me, I reckon. And we return to farm. medicine for our brother. God bless you, adventure. I'll see that Galleon Gall receives treatment at once. Hopefully this will allow the captain to rest easier. It has been a terrible burden on him, trying to keep every man alive. You've done it a great kind you've done us a great kindness, friend. Adventure. The galleon has gone missing. Nowhere to be found. He shouldn't be walking around, not with those wounds. If he doesn't get the proper medicine to rest, his condition is like to deteriorate to where it was before or worse. I need you to help us find him and quickly. Start by asking Albreda. Might he, as a woman, seen something. Hello again? Ah, finally. It's about time you come ask me about Galleon. I watched him leave Quarry Mill some time ago, and he left me the sealed letter before he went off. He made me swear not to open it until it... until someone came asking. My brothers, I cannot bear to be burdened any longer. This is why I must leave you all. Do not worry for me. Uh, just find your way to safety to little Alamigo. Ah, blast it. Would that I had known what I was thinking. What he was thinking. I'd have stopped this folly myself. The love Galleon bears for his strong brothers is so strong, he's willing to sacrifice himself for it. Make no mistake, entering the wood in the weakened state is suicide. Out of the wilds alone, that fool, that great big sentimental field, fool. My man and I will scour the wood for Galleon. Please help us find him before something terrible happens. He's ten feet away. There's the alien. They're not far. I see little forty stuff. Maybe that's why they're afraid he's gonna enter the dragon. <sighs> Watch out, a goblin! Drunk. 
C Captain, but why? You should all be on your way. Would you? What would you? T Who do you take us for? We're Alamegans. Alamegans never forsake one another. Hardships be darned. Remember the oath we swore. Gosh darn it. The oath to reclaim our homeland. We'll set foot on Alamegan soil again, together, or not at all. You understand me? Yes, sir. Good. Let us return to our brothers. Oh, and don't even think about it, that you'll get off lightly. As soon as you're healed, I'll give you such a thorough thrashing you'll wish we didn't find you. He looks sad. I can't thank you enough for saving Galleon. I'll see you back to Cory at Corino. Galleon's expected to make a full recovery. We'll linger here till he's strong enough to take care of the room again. As much as I mislike in this place, beggars can't be choosers. Wishes to repay your kindness. Now that things are relatively settled, I re seem to recall that you wanted something of me. You've proven a true friend to my people. Ask of me anything in its ears so long as it's mine to get. The cooperation of the people of the Alamigo, that's all. Far be it from me to question your desires, and, of course. Very well, I shall provide you with a letter to show to Gundamal. The old bearer was a mentor when I first joined the resistance. He's intimidating to those who don't know him, but he takes care of his own. I have no doubt that he will do all in his power to help him. I want me to go back to Alamigo. Alright, so that's far enough. I think it's a totally different area. I'm gonna go ahead and try the next White Mage quest. If I can figure out what that one is. I think it would be... Oh, I didn't take it because it wasn't big enough to take it. What, what was that area called? I don't remember her name. Maybe the journal will help me. No, it wouldn't be on this list yet. What about complete? Something I completed, the level 35 one? You don't have a level 35 one? Clash and job quests. Not this type of one. White Mage Quest. Aha! Here we go. Nature's Embrace? Is that it? Can you tell me where that is? Into Quarry Mill. Okay, we already did that one. What's the next one on that? The map is not going to help me, but... Uh, it's frustrating because I'm so bad with the map, I have no idea how to use this thing. Oh, maybe. Is there a shortcut that shows center on... Busts?
quest that you walked past but you were not high enough level to start. Green area with lily pads. I guess we'll do this one. We'll do the lily pads. Since I last heard from him, I feared him dead. Twelve be praised. Whoever you are, Mefred sees you as a friend, and any friend of Mefred is a friend of mine. I know of this masked stranger you seek, and will tell you what I can. Crazy character, action and traits, level 40, what did I just do, it was, cure 3, oh, I can do cure 3 at some point, but I can't use it yet, how do I get to, I need to do this quest, so if I get, how do I get to that? Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, like, gear 2 is good enough for you. The bear in the youngin's cares. Gundabald is willing to share with you what he knows of the masked stranger. An outsider resembling the, your masked stranger was reportedly being a been appearing mere little owl amigo of late. What's more, it seems that some of our young bloods are meeting him in secret. No doubt you'll want to question them about their trysts, but they are not likely to yield the information readily to an outsider. If you tell them I sent you, though, you they may feel well obliged to talk. Ask me, I no idea what you're talking about. I don't. I ain't done nothing wrong. Leave me at beat. The guy who all sent you? I, uh, listen, I told him it was a bad idea. All that tripe about believing the masked man and. Oh, oh, you, you, you don't know anything about this? Why didn't you say so to start with? You can't throw the old bear's name around like that and expect me to not think I'm in for it. Sure to tell my friends you're looking for it. Tailbot. There's a bunch been sulking about right suspicious, like, but I've 
got nothing to do with it. I know trouble when I see it, and that there's trouble. Mark me words. indeed confirm my suspicions about the masked man. That is most troubling. Whatever the young ones are scheming, it can lead to no good end. There's an anger in these inside them. I can see it in their eyes. I ought to know, for it once burned within me as well. Two decades ago, the same anger drove me and my brothers to rise against the despot who ruled Alamigo. Not would do but to dispo depose him and usher in a revolution. Well, we got our revolution all right, but it cost us our freedom. Blinded by our hate, we didn't realize that we, we had been dancing to the Empire's tune. By the time we did, it was too late. Alamigo had fallen. There are times when a man must be patient. Now is such a time, though the young ones know this not. Unless we intervene, they are like to commit great folly. If you earn, learn aught of their plans, it, I would thank you to bring word to me. Alright, so we get die, eye potion, or ether, or spine drops. Cures paralysis. Interesting. Curing paralysis or ether. I guess I'll go with E13. Definitely will need it. Paralysis is like. Rem Fing has a secret message for you. Ooh, and, and an item that will help me. No. Yes, I can do this. But if it blocks you, burns something on your head. Well, that's a question. Hey, adventure, you done talking to the old bit? I got a message for you and Walfred. Lad's something of a leader of our young ones here. He's impressed that you won over Gundamal and wants a word with you. Says he's been waiting for you at the craggy area. Snakes look like before they were evil and got cast in. Thanks for coming, friend. Tis no ordinary outsider who can gain the trust of the old bear. That's why I wanted to meet you. We discussed something in private. Tell me, why are you snooping about? Did the Empire send you or someone else? Coral got your tongue? <laughs> no matter. Whoever it is you work for, your meddling ends here. Get him.
stronger than you look. This changes nothing. Threaten us, beat us bloody all you like. Nothing short of death can make us give up our fight. We're going to obtain the power to bring down the Empire, and with it, we'll reclaim our family. Attacked by Willred and his cronies, they would go to such lengths for the sake of this plan of theirs. Left to their own devices, the young fools are like to harm others, but not themselves. We must uncover their agenda and put an end to this madness. Alright, so this hat would bring me 2239 pop. I'm going to check and see if that's actually something useful. Anything on my head, anyway? Okay. I have. Oh, this. Yeah, twenty-one thirty-seven. So this is slightly better. Get a blue cloak. Gundabald needs your help to rein in the young ones. Wilfred mentioned obtaining the power to bring down the Empire, or what power could he be speaking? G Gun Gundabald? <sighs> I. I. Bertiliana, gods preserve what happened. I was forage, out foraging when the corpse brigade came. They took me to their hideout and they, they, <laughs> the whole while they laughed at me. They said I suffer because I cling on to hope. Is it wrong to dream of hope? Home? Is it wrong to call ourselves Alamegans? Do not heed such poisonous notions, child. Our dreams are what sustain us. Be strong, I swear to you, those villains will answer for their crimes in due time. But tell me, does anyone else know of this? Wilred, he saw me outside. He was so angry. I must tend to Berti Bertili Bertiliana. In the meantime, I need you to find out what the young ones make of this. I fear they may do something rash. So, ascertain the youth's intentions. Oh, I guess I'll go talk to this guy. Let's say youth. Yeah, that's a good one. Hey, I can't bear it anymore. Oh, Xamarin, that's what that book means. 
down less. What those animals did to Bertiliana is unforgivable, and to think they look down on us. Well, I'll suffer this humiliation no more. I'm with Wolfred to the bitter end. I'm not afraid of a few lizards. A hunting knife. Alright, let's head up. Oh, mighty Ralgar, Lord of Destruction, we implore you, lend us your strength and put an end to the suffering of your people. Hmm. Here to interfere again, well, you're too late. Our plan is already in motion. Once we have the crystals, our enemies will pay for their crimes, and no one will dare oppress us ever again. If this plan succeeds, we have the power to lay the Empire low, to change the world for the better. It might be as Gunbald's content to eke an existence out an existence in this musty old cave. But I'll be darned if I'm going to spend the rest of my life here. Now, where in the seven elves did I put that bloody map? I have it. I have your map. I broke my leg. take matters into their own hands. But what exactly is it that they need to do? What's this? A hunting knife and a map of Xanrak? Wait, you said Wolred spoke of crystals, didn't you? Not, did you not? Well, they couldn't possibly mean to... By the gosh. This is rank madness. The young fools are untrained and unblooded. All... They have no notion of how dangerous the Amalja are. They'll be butchered before they get within a hundred yards of the crystals. They're headed east. If we hurry, we can find them before it's too late. South and east, I can pretty quick. Big fight, level 31, ooh, we we'll get knocked way down. <laughs> well, Greg, did no others survive? This is all wrong. Getting the crystals was supposed to be the start. We were going to reclaim our homeland. We were, we, pull yourself together, lad. We were going to make an offering of crystals to Rogger summon him, just like the masked man taught us. We plotted to sneak into Zanrak and make off with the lizard men's cash. But, but, they caught us, and so many dead. Gods, forgive us. Heavens, heathens, you shall pay for the, your crimes with your souls. I regret our young one's transgressions, but a soul is too high a place. Price for youthful folly. 
for all their failings, they are the hope of the all Negan people. This hope I will guard with my life. Skills at arms is impressive adventure. Our wayward youths could learn much from a man like you. The battle's won, but it would be unwise to linger here. Let us return to a little Alameda. Oh wait, we come all this way. We have to get the crystals. They're right there, right for the picking. Have you learned nothing, Willred? Do you not see those tempered wedges wedges? Such as the fate of those who are touched by a god. Is that there what you is what you desire is that what you desire for yourself or your friend and your friends? Wait, what? No, no, no one said anything about. The masked man told us we could defeat the Empire if we summoned Ralgar. We he swore enough. I will hear the rest of the story this story tale sorry tale back in Little Alamigo. I dare say Mangler will wish to hear it as well. everything. I was outside with the others when he appeared, the masked stranger. He told us about summoning Ralgar, using about using crystals, and then just vanished. We never saw him again. I want 
so desperately to believe that we could raise ourselves with this from this squalor that I never stopped to question his motives. But I should have known. There's no solution. Nothing we can do to change our lot. Our people are doomed to live and die like beasts. Listen to me, Wilred. Our home may be lost to us, but it takes more than stones and mortar to define who we are. No matter where we may be, Alamigo lives on within us all. It is for you to decide what to make of this legacy. But whatever you choose to do with your life, never forget that you owe us, owe it to this adventurer, an outsider. I, I won't, I promise. Thank you for saving me, and sorry I tried to kill you. My thanks as well, friend. It gives us hope to know that there are kind souls such as you out there. Little Alamigo may not have much in the way of comfort, but you will always be welcome here. Alright, we'll go with Ether again. Gundabald Gun wants to wish you well on your investigation. Lentils and chestnuts. Ooh, those will help. Okay. Would that we had more information to offer, but what Woolred told you is the extent of our knowledge of the masked stranger. Left unchecked, this man will bring about great pain and suffering. I pray that you will find and put a swift end to the creature, for the sake of the young ones who died by his poisoned wounds. Okay, so this says head back to Winfilia, so we're done with this area. Let's see what I can do with this new stuff I just got. Or did it? Where is it? I don't even see it. Oh, maybe I have to go to her and then I'll get it. Yeah. Okay. So we have to go to her. Um, keep moving forward is the rule here. I don't remember where to go to get my regular. White Mage Quest. That's something to try to figure out. Maybe I'll figure that out as we break. Let's see what we can do. Welcome back, Mangler. I'm reliably informed the investigation took you to Quarry Mill and Little Alamigo. So tell me, were you able to learn aught of, aught of La Habria? Planted the knowledge of summoning an impressionable young mind, you say? Precisely the kind of deception the Askians would employ. While many of the ills that ail the land are can be attributed to the calamity, some are being brought about by a malign will. You must we must needs delve deeper into this. While things remain quiet on the primal front. 
All work and no play makes Minfilia a dull skyad. Hmm? Did you say something? N nothing, milady. Ahem. Mayhap we ought to rest a while before speaking further of the investigation. Alright, those are the bonuses I get. That was the food. Alright, just to organize things, since that was a useful thing, we we'll put it over here to keep it out of the way. If we ever get to a fight we can't beat and we need something, or if we want EXP for some long push, half an hour, we can eat one of those. Maybe if we try to level up to money, I'll sell them. Minfilia has another lead for you to pursue. While you were tending to business in Thanalan, some new information arrived courtesy of our friends the Sylphs. An individual fitting Lahabria's description has been sighted in the North Shroud. This sighting comes in the wake of a series of mysterious deaths in the selfsame area. My instincts tell me that our man is involved. I would have you continue your investigation where you left off. Twelve willing, we will pick up Lahabria's trail once more. Naraxia can furnish you with the details. Pray speak with her and take it from there. As always, be careful out there. Alright, that's right outside the door. is to investigate Sinister Wood, and heed well this one's words. This one is friends with the Walking One of the in the Ash Crown Consortium. According to Friendly One, a digging one named Medrod had an encounter with a scary masked one. This masked one is most certainly Sinister One. Walking One should go and speak with Digging One Medrod. Digging One is to be found at Fall Board float in the north shroud. Because it's all green, that means it's in Verdania. Maybe we need to find our main our white mage quest in the Verdanian suburbs. before he comes for me, just like he came for that poor woman. Medrod is clearly traumatized. Perhaps if you were to soothe him, he might remain calm for long enough to hold a conversation. We try to comfort Medrod. You're right. I'm not as bad as it seems. I saw something terrible. That's true. But that hardly means I'm going to suffer the same fate. Thanks to you, I can think straight again. I believe I can even recount what I saw without losing it. It was just another ordinary day. I was headed back to the float when I noticed a suspicious character in the distance. A masked man garbed 
head in head to toe in black. He had a hideous friend fiend in tow, a winged creature that was all eyeball and dragon teeth. Then, taken by curiosity, I crept as near as I dared to see the corpse of a woman. One glimpse was enough to tell me that she died a gruesome death. In that instant, I knew right away that the masked man was a minion of Thoth, come to claim her soul for his realm. What? You're investigating the same masked man? In that case, I'll help you with whatever way we can, in whatever way we can. Buy anything to ensure that we won't have to suffer Medrod's hysteria ever again. Alright, teamwork. That's what I wanted to- wait, I haven't been that bad, have I? At any rate, I'm all for helping this adventurer. It's the least I can do to repay him for comforting me. Concerning your investigation. So here's what I know about the deaths. All the victims were found with their faces torn to shreds. Among the local fauna, only the scale kin known as Ziz could inflict such wounds. That's why some folk are pointing the finger at them. I somehow doubt that the answer is that simple, but for the sake of thoroughness, we should look into it. Why should why don't you put down, say, three of the creatures and see if we can find any proof connecting them to the deaths? You're just wasting it. seen to the Ziz. Good work, adventurer. So were you able to find aught to suggest that the creatures were are our culprits? <clears throat> Nothing? Truth be told, even if it were if there were proof, I wouldn't know that what it looked like. Anyway, 
I believe we can safely strike Ziz from our list of suspects, which leaves us with the past man in the winged in his winged eyeball. Mm. Two quests. We must be the masked man. Aideen has further knowledge of the mysterious deaths. There's something else I heard about the deaths. It appears all the victims have come comely maidens. I'd better watch out watch myself, eh? <laughs> Uh, unseemly japes aside, there is a rumor been going around. There is some as whisper that after each victim died, her rancor went into the great big rock southwest of here, causing it to flash and move. This bears investigating, I reckon. I'm going to give you a fire sand stick to blow off a piece of that crag. The stick doesn't come with a fuse or anything. So you'll have to throw the thing. Since you've thrown a rock, thrown the rock a new one, bring back some of the fragments and I'll give them to again. Some key areas are used on areas rather than single targets. First click on the item icon displayed in the duty list. On selecting the item, a glowing radius will appear on the ground. It can be moved freely with the mouse into the desired position before executing. Um, okay. Seeing eye to winged eye. Ivoralt has information to share regarding their investigation. There is something you should know. I have been keeping this to myself lest I worsen Medrod's paranoia, but I too have seen the winged eyeball. I cannot say whether it was coincidence, but my sighting took place precisely the same time as Medrod's. I was heading home at, uh, after a day of digging when a shadow fell over me. Looking up, I found myself locked in a gaze with a giant eyeball. I let out a scream at the top of my lungs and ran without once looking back. This happened at the rocky area west of here. I, in case you had a mind to rest me. Alright, let's go through the stick of the rock first. That's west there. Let's see about southwest. Let's move this one, or this one. Here. Also to the west. Okay. So we both go back into that cave and Wonderful. This is it, so I think we're supposed to throw something at it. Throw the fire stick at the rock. Duty. It's a new idea, but this doesn't work. If I go to items. Fire stick, here we go. Use. Okay. Hey, we did it! And we got crystals. And they're humming, so they're probably gonna attack us. Got 
crystals. Alright, while we're heading here, let's see if we can knock out this other one. Beware the little 50 dude. Here's the uh, area. There's the level 50 dude. Whoa, no need to. I can do that. Save myself two minutes. Too scared to go within a hundred yards of the rock of rancor. I, it has a name, but what's a few vengeful spirits to the dauntless adventurer like you, eh? Huh? Why? These are just your garden variety crystals. It is a bit hard to tell beneath all the dirt and grime, but they're definitely lightning aspected. I almost hate to say it, but that explains the flashing and moaning. Nothing to do with the masked stranger. Looks like I've gone and wasted both your time and a perfectly good fire sand stick. Oh well. The monstrous family appeared and you slew it. That creature had long been a scourge upon the folk of Fulgar. Intentional or not, you have done us a great service. You have my gratitude. But this does make me wonder. Was it truly a winged eyeball I saw, or merely a trick of light combined with mind cannon? Alright, level 43. Medrod is troubled by the dearth of new developments in the murder investigation. been no promising leads in the murders. I can scarce get a wink of sleep knowing that the murder, the killer is still at large. Judging by your furrowed brows, I take it this sorry business troubles you as much as it does me. It had been pondering my encounter. I was uncertain for a time, but there can be no doubt. It was a winged eyeball that I witnessed. It's implausible that I could have mistaken so distinct a creature as a for a Benamite. But you and I were malms apart. How could we have seen the same seen it at precisely the same time? Both seen the same. What's more, our adventure friend here had a run in with the Benamite at the very spot you claim to see it, that fiendish eyeball. Isn't that right? There must be an explanation. I know I saw an eyeball with wings. I would wager an apple tart on it. Ooh, he's serious. Let's listen. Mayhap it's not as mysterious as we're making out to be. There's no reason why there couldn't be. Ah, gosh, of course. There must be more than one of these buggers. Ah, it's so obvious. But then that means, since there have been repeated sightings of these fiends, then there must have been more victims as yet undiscovered. Oh. 
I, I do believe we're out of our depth. We ought to leave the rest of the extra. Yes, we're just civilians after all. Good luck, adventurer. It was a pleasure knowing you. While I burn to know the truth, some things are best left unknown. Lest you have forgotten, I was at the rocky area up to the west when I had my encounter. Should you discover aught of note, you will want to alert the authorities. There is a guardhouse nearby. The serpents there should be pleased for any information that pertains to the security of the region. Alright, search for the maiden's corpse west of Falgor. Let's see where this is. Oh, it's the same area we've been going to. It's just farther to the west. Alright, well, I think that's a good spot. I'm going to go ahead and put the cut in today's video. And see if anyone else is on that we can raid. It could be. Hey, Laney Honey, let's go ahead and raid them. We don't see each other. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.